Uh, we are the amazing, and no name is the name of our service. Uh, how many of you have got a friend who always knows the best events going on in London, the best gig, the best exhibition, the pop-up restaurant opening exactly around the corner? Imagine, imagine it's Sunday night, you're finishing the jam, you're going out, you're having dinner somewhere, and then you want to go out and find something unique, something fun to do tonight in Brick Lane. I'm sure there are a lot of things going on in Brick Lane, but probably it's a little bit difficult to find it. So what you can do, you can call your friend, but what if your friend is not available tonight? You can use no name. It's a tool that can help you in this situation. It's passed around by word of mouth, and if you want to try this tool, you have to be invited. When we designed it, when we were designing this tool, we were thinking about Anna. She's 23 years old. She's a culture vulture. She's spontaneous. She loves underground local events, doesn't have time to plan, a lot of time to plan, and now she's out, already out, uh, looking for stimulation, something good, something fun to do in London tonight, in Brickling tonight. A couple of days ago, she received an invitation from a friend. It's about this new app, this new tool, no name. She's very intrigued about this tool. So she decided to download the app, and what she can see is this map around her showing all the events going on, music, art, wine taste, theater, pop-up restaurants. Some of the contents have been posted in the app by users. Some of them have been posted by curators, trendsetters, bloggers, magazines. She decides where to go, she check it out and let her friends know that she's going. Ten minutes later, she arrives at the venue. She found that Jenny, her friend, is already there. They had an, ex an extraordinary night. They have fun and they just want to share this experience and probably rate the venue and rate the event with others. That's the idea of, the, of our service and I can hand over. So we were thinking how to give this shape so that it would become a viable business model. Um, we think the what makes No Name different um, is that it focuses on spontaneous events and underground events that mainstream media don't usually cover. So we didn't want it to be like timeout or anything like that. So it's something that you might just <coughs> improvise and you want to find something that's going on right now and you might find it on the area around you. Um, we think the key partners here are trendsetters and culture creators uh, because they're the people that are going to provide the information that's going to be exchanged. Um, so we're paying a lot of attention to that. And we think that the content, it's co-created. It's um, the users generated and the event organizers generated as well by creating the activity. Um, and it also creates a community of users. There's a sense of community as well, because you know that they're something that links you to people that have more or less a similar interest um, uh, as you have. Um, the, um, Target, it's really, really specific. We think it's a very uh, niche market. Um, it's for, for people that want to find out about um, spontaneous underground events. Uh, the way to generate revenue would be to publish sponsored content by small businesses that don't usually have the opportunity to publish their events in mainstream media. And this would also generate, obviously, revenue for the venues that, that host these events. And this is generally our idea. Thanks a lot for listening.
Um, I love the idea. I would love to have something like this um, to be able to find things on the go while I'm out. And I think the main issue of these, there's loads of apps or things that you can go out, like timeout or any other things. And uh, there's two issues with these kind of things. One is either the, if you trust, I mean, how much you trust in that app, how much you trust in the, you know, the quality of that um, you know, evaluation of the place. And also the amount of things. I mean, you might find out uh, the main businesses around, but not every single bar. How much thought did you give into how you're going to populate um, your application? We think that to to make it like feasible, um, we want to focus on a local area and a restricted one. So uh, we thought about starting first, for example, in East London, say around Brick Lane, and. This obviously requires some peer work, um, talking to small businesses, knowing about what's going on, talking also to trendsetters and bloggers that live in the area and like it. And we think they would be interested in joining this um, project because that would mean advertisement for them. It's obviously, um, if we think the, pro the, the project is interesting enough and they become involved and they trust the project, uh, that would be a, a way of gaining exposure for them as well. So once we get this trusted content and a solid image, people would be joining it. So, so would you curate it or not? Initially we would. Okay. Um, we would uh, find a network of bloggers that would like to engage in the service and help us find uh, content and events that are going on and they think they're worth um, exposing, basically. So with, 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 with Facebook, I've learned that if somebody's going to an event, it means they might go. And if they say they might go, it means they're not going. If they say they're not going, it means please leave me alone. So how do you, I mean, is it going to, how is that going to, you're going to make this better than Facebook, presumably? Um, it's small and it, it's not, um, it doesn't, I, don't, I think this targets some events different to Facebook. It's, it's more about the local culture. And if you give the project an identity, I think people will be attracted to this. And um, basically, well, you, if, if you say you're going and then you don't, it's a lack of commitment, obviously, but you can't always control that, can you? I can answer that one as well. Um, I'm Joy. Um, so the difference is, it, is, it has from Facebook, it's not about broadcasting where you're going, it's more about the immediacy of going, of finding a place or finding something to do uh, at that moment um, with quality content. So that's pretty much what it is. What if you were to continue this tomorrow, let's say you had another 48 hours, what would be the next step in making this a reality? I think the most interesting idea would be to find the people that are going to help us curate the content and find, to get them engaged in the project and also to do some research ourselves on the area. Obviously, we kind of have, we, we were interested in the project because we think this area has a lot of potential to that. There is a lot of spontaneous things going on that people like to find kind of genuine, but they don't get the publicity, so you need to do the research yourself as well. I think research would be the next step, basically. Did, did you get a chance to do any research in the last two days in terms of finding venues that might be interested or interested in being involved or people that might be interested in this kind of um, we We talk to users, basically, and um, they are really, we, they don't really find a service that would allow them to plan something different and fun in just 30 minutes, say, because some people like organiz organizational skills in that sense and also don't know the area that much. And they also think they would like to share, once they find something, they want to share it with other people. So at least we know there's potential users. Uh, the research we have done so far is we saw a lot of blogs and forums everywhere and these information are so bits and pieces on the internet and you have to go to Google to search very specifically. So we see there's a potential that we can join all of these sources of information together that is our potential.
just be before you escape, thank you, thank you very much for the presentation. Just the same question as the last team about what thoughts have you given to taking this forward after, after this weekend? Um, well, we, well, we really didn't think about developing it further in the sense of doing it as a team, but the idea is that if it, if it were to be developed as a business idea, um, what we would do is we'd make sure that uh, the content is quality and hopefully build it up from there and then be able to attract businesses um, that, we, that we would use as like sponsored advertising. Thanks very much. Yeah.